Hey, what's good my people? Uh, it's your Kenya Village Boy here, Ishmael Nzioka from Kenya and today I'm gonna be sharing with you my 10 favorite things from South Africa. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I've been living in South Africa for the last two years, but currently I'm back in Kenya and I want to share you with you the 10 things that I loved about South Africa when I was there. Before we go on, I want to give a shout out to the people who have been commenting to my videos. Also, you can get a chance to get uh, a shout out on the next video that I'm going to be doing if you comment on this video. So I'll give shout out to two people today on the last video that we did and that is Marvin Mdetwa. Marvin Mdetwa commented and said, welcome brother to Mzanzi. And also we have Molo Mokwena commented and said welcome enjoy Mzanzi so also take this moment to comment on this video and be part of this family by subscribing liking and commenting this video so let's get into the video I have a lot of reasons to love this country after staying here for more than two years now one of the crazy things that I love about South Africa is the RDP this is the reconstruction development program by the government of South Africa whereby if you're 21 years and above, you're married or not married, but you have a dependent, you can get a free housing. How crazy is that? Like a house with water, a house with uh, electricity and good roads and security. In South Africa, where else does this happen in the world? In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you more other things that I love about South Africa. That's just number one. So we have nine other things that I love about South Africa. And my 10th thing is my favorite thing about South Africa. My name is Ishmael Nzuka, your Kenyan village boy from Kenya. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my 10 best things that I love about South Africa. So stay tuned and enjoy the video. Number one is the roads. The roads here in South Africa is the first thing you will realize immediately you land at the airport. Just the roads getting out of the airport, you just realize how beautiful this country is. Like, I was so amazed, you know, in Kenya, we have like, I think the biggest land we have is like four, but here in South Africa, we have six, and every road it has is designated kind of cars to pass there. Like we have buses, we have lorries, we have like small cars and the first lane on the other hand, like, so crazy and you never see traffic in South Africa and the roads are always clean with toll gates. Kenyans, I heard you complaining about the toll gates with the new super highway that has just been created by President Uhuru Kenyatta. You're complaining in South Africa toll gates is just a normal thing and that money is used to maintain that road. So I think it's the same thing like in Kenya whereby now we have the super highway whereby this road has toll gates which that money is going to be used to build these roads and maintain them. Second thing is the game parks here in South Africa. Oh my gosh. You know, when I came to South Africa, I thought I would just go and see the beauty and just the nature and the climate and all that. But when I came here, I was so much amazed by how beautiful this country is with the game parks. More so the biggest game park in Pumalanga that is um, Kruger National Park, one of the biggest national parks here in South Africa. I visited that place and I had a go to see uh, the lion and the, the, the leopard during the rainy season. And oh my gosh, who said you can never see lion and, and uh, lion and leopard during the rainy season in Kruger? Because some people had told me I couldn't see them, but wow, I went there and it was the best moment of my life. Like, wow. Number three is the malls. The malls in South Africa, they're just exceptional. You don't have to go to the small like shops like in Kenya, you have to go to these uh, small stores on the roads and everywhere. Here in South Africa, every other corner you move to, it's just a mall. From Menil Mall, the corner you move to, it's just a mall. From Menil Mall from, to the Grove Mall to the other big malls around here but the malls they're so beautiful big with everything you can ever find just like you can find like anything you can ever want in a mall 
The fifth thing is the electric train. Wow. You know, when I came to South Africa, I was just thinking about driving because every time I was just driving, driving, driving. But wait until you get to the how tank train. Oh my gosh. This train is not like um, the SGR train we have in Kenya. There's not much difference with the seats and everything because they are almost similar, just the color difference. But this one is quiet train with the most beautiful view while inside that train. And the other thing is they are just more cheaper than in Kenya and they're more faster, they're more efficient and wow, it's the best means of transport you can ever take while inside South Africa. You gotta try the Houghton train, the most beautiful electric train here in Africa. I say it. Yes. Number six is the combis. In Kenya, we have the matatus, and here in South Africa, we have the small van. We call them combis. One of the crazy things that I found about combis here in South Africa, let me tell you this, is that in Kenya, you see these guys like saying, come in, come in, come in, in gear, kuji, or whatever, whatever, and they're telling you the price to go in. In South Africa, it's different. You have to know like the signs. I don't know. You know, I never used so much, and I haven't been using the combis, but I just know that you have to use signs when you have to know where you have to go. Like when you see a combi coming, you have to tell them, oh, I don't know, something of the sort. Number seven, that is infrastructure. Guys, should I talk about this? Because in South Africa, more so here in Pretoria and Jobek, like the buildings, oh my gosh. On the first point, I told you about the RDP. That is the free housing done by the government. These are free houses given to people. Uh, if they have dependents and you're above 21 and you want a free house with electricity and everything. But now we have the mega houses, the mansions and everything. Like in Santum, one of the most beautiful and expensive places here in South Africa. Most beautiful buildings. You go like to Sunnyside and you will see these beautiful houses in the capital city that is Pretoria. Wow just beautiful buildings like and they have like uh small bricks that they use like the, the, the brown ones not like in kenya we use the, the big bricks here in south africa they use the small bricks so that's another difference and another thing they love about south africa because those small bricks you find that they don't keep on plastering the houses outside like these bricks they're just the beauty or the buildings and that's one thing i love about south africa wow kudos south africans here in South Africa, one of the things that you have to try for you to know that you are in South Africa is the South African food. My favorite and the best South African food is the seven colors. Seven colors is a food whereby it has like seven kind of foods with different things like we have meat, we have like uh, avocado, we have like carrots we have like chakalaka we have like rice we have like pap we have like everything put together to make seven colors like we have greens and everything i hope that making sense and this is one of my favorite food here but we have other foods like um the the, the pap with the chicken legs have you ever tried that in your life tell me tell me this was my first time to try this in south africa like wow that's just good. <laughs> I mean, it is good because I love meat. I love the chicken legs. It was my first time trying them. You should come and try this. And then the other food that is one of my favorite as well is the Isi Kota. Ikota or spat. This is so good. Oh my gosh. It is like the bread. They remove uh, the, the, the spongy thing of the bread. And then they put like cheese. They put like paloni, they put like viennas, oh my gosh, vienna is like a sausage, and then paloni is like ham, and then they put like fries, they put like meat on the top, and they put like another cheese, and then they put like some sauces and all that, and then they close with the spongy bread again, and then you have like an African burger, so good, wow.
I think I should try cooking this for you guys in this channel. It's so good, very good. And yeah, that's another thing that I love about South Africa. There are so many different foods like madombi and like uh, chakalaka. You have like samb, all those kind of foods. But my favorite is seven colors and is patlo or kota. Number 10, my favorite. And this is one of the reasons why I love South Africa so much is the freedom, the freedom that South Africans have. You know, a lot of countries in Africa, they don't have this kind of freedom that you guys have here in South Africa. Like the freedom of speech, the freedom of movement and saying everything that you love. Example of this is President uh, Malema. I love calling President Malema because I love him so much. I know, I know he's just a leader uh, for the majority. And I love the way he speaks about the black people because I'm a black person and I am proud to promote black people and Malema is my favorite politician ever in Africa not even in my country but in Africa this guy shows how we have freedom of speech and we can express ourselves and all that and I congratulate him for the good work that he's doing and the freedom that he has brought to South Africans be sure to like this video and comment and I'm going to be giving out shout outs to all the people who are going to comment on this video. Uh, so be sure to like this video and comment so that I can give you a shout out on the next.